In these next few videos, we're going to uh, demonstrate the application of Thevenin equivalent circuits in this phasor domain using complex impedances. You'll recall, recall from our previous discussions on Thevenin equivalency, that the idea was, if, was that if we had some circuit, some relatively complicated circuit, and we were only interested in the terminal characteristics of that circuit, we could replace that circuit with its Thevenin equivalent, which consisted of a single voltage source and a, back then when we were talking about it, a single resistance called the Thevenin resistance, but now since we're talking about impedances, in this complex domain, the Thevenin equivalent circuit involves a voltage source, a phasor voltage, and a complex impedance. By equivalent, we mean that if you attach a load to the actual circuit, a certain current draws, and as you start drawing current, the terminal voltage starts to drop. This Thevenin equivalent circuit will model that current flowing and the voltage drop that will happen as current starts to flow and be equivalent to or be the same current and voltage drop that you would experience in the more complicated circuit. Again, it's simply a method of modeling a more complicated circuit by a less complicated circuit that has the same terminal characteristics. You'll recall that to do so, we had to determine what the open circuit voltage was. The open circuit voltage being simply the voltage across the terminals AB when no load is connected. That's the Thevenin voltage. The Thevenin impedance we can find in one of three different ways. We can determine the equivalent impedance seen looking back into the circuit with all independent sources deactivated for one method. Another method involves putting a short circuit, actually grounding or shorting out the AB terminals and calculating that short circuit current. And then this Thevenin impedance is equal to the ratio of the open circuit voltage to the short circuit current. We'll do an example using that. And the third method involves deactivating the source, any independent sources, applying an external source to the circuit terminals and calculating the ratio of the voltage, that external voltage, to the uh, current that then flows. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Here we've got a time domain circuit, relatively complicated, not terribly, but a good one for our example. The first thing we need to do is convert it to its phasor domain representation. So this 10 cosine of 500T has been converted to a complex impedance voltage of 10 e to the J0, and similarly each of the impedances are represented over here. And our task then is to determine the, the Thevenin equivalent circuit for this circuit. To do so, we need the open circuit voltage. The open circuit voltage is the voltage that we would measure across the terminals with no load connected. Because there's no load connected, there's no current flowing through that inductor. And any current that's produced by this voltage source will be going through a series combination of the capacitor and the resistor. So the open circuit voltage is simply going to be the voltage across this 20 ohm resistor. Again, because there's no current flowing through that inductor, there'll be no voltage drop across that inductor, and the open circuit voltage will just be the voltage across that 20 ohm resistor. Easy way to get that, it appears to me, would be to use a voltage divider and say then that V open circuit is equal to 10 times 20 divided by 20 plus J minus J 25. And when you do that, you get that the open circuit voltage is equal to 6.25 E to the J. 51.34. Because we're going to be writing so many of these uh, phasors, rather than writing them in the exponential form, I'm going to start writing them as a magnitude and an angle of 51.34. So this form and this form are both polar forms. This just represents the magnitude and the phase, and here we've got the complex exponential that that again demonstrates the mathematics behind it, what is actually happening. 
But whatever form we choose, we now have our Thevenin equivalent voltage because the Thevenin equivalent voltage is simply equal to the open circuit voltage, which in this case is the 6.25 angle 51.34 degrees. In the next video, we'll demonstrate the three different methods of determining the Thevenin equivalent impedance.